Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Chanel, the owner of Three Balls Handmade Soap Some More. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to enter in inventory for your Shopify store. So the first thing you're going to want to do is either log in or start your free trial. So right here, I kind of have like a little mock store set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. So once you get logged in, you're always going to be taken to your home page. Now from here, we're just going to go down to products. Okay. This video is mainly for those that sell their soaps. Um, or if you sell whatever other product you may sell, candles, whatever you may sell, and, and you use Shopify. So now, once over here on products, you're going to want to go, if you have not done so already, you're going to want to create your collections. This will make it a lot easier so that when you do start adding um, your product, you can just go ahead and put them in the designated collection, in the, you know, in the category, the right collection or whatever. So what we're going to do is create another collection. So we're just going to click on collections and we're going to go over to add collection. And again, this is just a mock store. This is not my store. This is just something that I've just created for the purpose of doing this video. Now, this collection is going to be bath bombs. bath bombs okay now i don't put a description in there in my collections you can if you wish to however i don't as well as adding a image i do not add an image with my collections uh, again if you want to add an image then definitely go ahead and do so now over here for collection type i personally like to manually add each product to its collection so my soaps i will add each one of them individually to the collection as well as my bath bombs or scrubs if you do candles you know whatever you use i personally just like for it to be on manual so now since we have our title of the collection up there we're just going to go ahead and save that okay now once it's done it says created bath bombs and let me just close this down so now we're going to go back and you see we have our collections here. So we have a natural soaps collection as well as a bath bomb collection. Now there's nothing here for our bath bomb collection because we need to add a product there. So what we're going to do now is come over to products. Okay. So now we are in products and we're going to go over to add product. Now from here, we're going to add in our title so this is going to be our oatmeal bath bomb okay and then for the description just be mindful of what you put in the description make sure you're not putting anything that you're not supposed to put do people do it yes however just just be mindful of what you use in the description okay at least i try to be definitely list like your ingredients um definitely do like the weight so that way your customers can kind of get like a feel not a feel but you know can kind of gauge how like heavy your bath bomb is and of course you know whatever if you want to do like a brief description or um you want to go into great detail definitely put all of that stuff in your description box now from there, we're gonna go down to the media section. And this just allows you to upload. You can upload as many photos as you like. I typically just do one photo um, and that's pretty much just me. But so we're gonna add our oatmeal bath bomb here. And next we're gonna go down to pricing. Now for the pricing, just for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna set a price. Now we do want to charge tax on this product and next up, we're going to go down to cost per item. Now at cost per item, let's just say it only cost us $1.50 to make one bath bomb. So from there, it generates that we got $3.49, that we're going to make $3.49 in profit and the margin is about what well, is 69.9%. So 
this right here, when you enter in this cost per item, this right here lets you know, you can kind of calculate how much profit. Well, you can calculate how much profit you are making from that, from just entering in your cost per item. And if y'all don't know, um, if y'all would like to see a cost per item video, let me know because I can definitely add that. I can definitely do a cost per item video, how to find your cost per item. So now moving right along, we're going to go down to the inventory section. We want to track our quantity. So make sure you have that checked. Then your shop locate. Well, on here it says shop location because this is just like a little demo store. This is not my actual store. However, on my actual store, it does list my address right here. Well, the address that I use is listed right here. Okay. So next, we're going to go over to how many we have on hand. So let's say we have 17 of these on hand. Continue selling when out of stock? No. I do not recommend that. Um, don't do that. If you're out of stock, you're out of stock. You're just out of stock until you get more, until you make more. I mean, just simple as that. I don't recommend, like I said, I do not recommend continue selling when out of stock because that can make some customers very angry. Now, right here is your weight. This weight is very important because it helps to give you a more accurate shipping uh, cost like your rate, your rate will be more accurate. The more accurate you are with the weight of your products, the more accurate your shipping rates will be, if that makes sense. Because of course, you know, shipping changes depending on the weight, which I do a video on how to set up your shipping, well, all your different shipping rates and stuff like that. I'll show y'all that in another video. I don't want to pile too much in this video because you will definitely get overwhelmed. It's, it can be very overwhelming. So we're going to keep this video just, you know, on the simple side. All right. So for the weight, we're just going to put, let's just say our bath bomb weighs. We're just going to say it weighs like three ounces and you can change this to ounces, pounds, grams, whatever you use. So let's just say this weighs like three ounces. Okay. And now we're just going to save. I try to always save, you know, here and there because which if you try to back out, sometimes it will stop you and be like, are you sure you want to leave? And sometimes it'll just let you leave and then you have to start all over again. All right. So once we hit save right there, we're going to come over here to this other side on the right. Right here, it says status. You're going to see active. This means that when your customers log into your uh, when your customers visit your store, they will see this product listed on the store because it is active. Now, let's say you no longer sell this item and you can either delete it altogether out of your product or let's say if it, let's say it's a seasonal item that you only sell this around the holidays, around Christmas time. So if you can. So when after Christmas is over with, you can draft this. That way it's still there. You can still see it, but your customers will no longer see that. They will no longer see this item because it is now drafted. And then when the holidays roll around again, you can just hit active again. So now, now we have this drafted. However, we're just going to continue right along. Right here, product category. Once you hit, once I hit save again, you will see that it will, sometimes it'll generate, I know whenever I enter in my soaps, this product category will generate and say bar soap. Or something like that but you can play around with this or you can just leave that blank because it will automatically kind of like generate on its own now for our um, collection we're gonna go down to collection collection right here you're gonna get all the collections that you have created will show right here time you click in this little box all your collections will show so we're gonna click on our bath bomb collection because this is a bath bomb so that's where we want it to show at and bath bombs okay and there you go right there now below that is tags we're going to click on our tags and we're just going to create us some tags these tags come in handy so be sure to use tags y'all will be surprised at the amount of people that will get on your website and literally just go straight to the search bar and type in exactly what it is that they're looking for 
So um, just keep that in mind. So and just put try to think of as many tags as you can. And you if if you're just now setting up your store, of course you're gonna have to enter in all these tags. But after a while, once you get them all entered in and you know you add more stuff, then all you gotta do is just hit view all. Can y'all see that view all right there? If you hit view all, that'll take you to every last one of those tags that you have created. And then you can just click and it goes a lot faster. So just like I said, add as many tags as you can. Um, that way, when the customer comes to visit, then it would just about whatever you can think of. If you if, put yourself in the customer's shoes and you're looking for a bath bomb, what exactly, what are you looking for in these bath bombs so just add all of that stuff in there anything that you can think of any tags so once you're done with that you're just going to hit save well before we hit save right here it just says vendor which that would be your store's name or you could just leave that blank so we're going to hit save okay so now that is done our product is done let me put this back on active just for now Okay, and just like that, we have our oatmeal bath bomb added to our store, our inventory. If we go here, and Shopify will keep up with your inventory. So as long as your inventory is correct, you won't have any issues. So definitely be sure to make sure that your inventory is correct. Because the last thing you want to do is have to refund someone because you forgot to go over your inventory to make sure that it was correct. So again, to check out your inventory, you could just go right here under products, right up under uh, inventory. And that will tell you everything that you have available and everything that you have on hand and so on and so forth. And if you hover over these, these little tabs here with little lines up under there, and it'll just go kind of give you like a little insight on what each little tab is. So that's pretty much all I have for today. We created a collection as well as added a product to our store. The next video, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to show next because y'all, it's just, it's so much to cover, so much to cover. I don't know if I'm going to work on tackle orders next or customers or marketing discounts. Y'all let me know what, what would y'all like to see me do next? Discounts, marketing, uh, which section would you guys like for me to go over next? And we can definitely make that happen. But um, again, I am not sponsored whatsoever by Shopify. I was just asked to do a video and that's what I did. So like I said, I'm going to add these videos to a playlist because I don't want to, it can be a lot. So I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and break it down as much as I can so that way it's not so overwhelming because it can be very overwhelming to the point to where you just want to give up and say, forget it. So, but, and it's a very easy system to use. Shopify is definitely a very easy system to use. I love it. This is my second time using it. I used it when I had a clothing store and now I'm using it for my soap business. So, but other than that, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider leaving me a thumbs up. And if you have not done so already, consider subscribing to our channel channel and to all of our wonderful subscribers out there we thank you guys so much and until next time i will see you guys later